Goldilock and the Three Bears. Once upon a time, deep in the forest, there was a cozy little cottage where three bears lived, Papa Bear, Mama Bear, and Baby Bear. Each of them had their own porridge bowl, chair, and bed, everything just right for each of them. One sunny morning, the bears made a delicious breakfast of porridge. But it was too hot to eat. So, they decided to take a walk in the woods while their porridge cooled down. Not far from the bear's cottage, there lived a curious little girl named Goldilocks. She had golden hair that shone brightly in the sun and loved exploring. That very morning, while wandering through the forest, Goldilocks came across the bear's cottage. How lovely, she said, noticing the cute little house. Unable to resist, she knocked on the door. When no one answered, she gave the door a gentle push and found that it opened easily. Goldilocks stepped inside and was immediately greeted by the delicious smell of porridge. On the table, there were three bowls, a big one, a medium one, and a tiny one. Feeling hungry, she decided to try the porridge. First, she took a spoonful from the big bowl, ouch, she cried. This porridge is too hot. Then, she tried the medium bowl, yuck. This porridge is too cold. Finally, she tasted the porridge from the tiny bowl. Oh, this porridge is just right, she said, happily finishing it all. After finishing the porridge, Goldilocks felt a little tired. She looked around and saw three chairs, a big one, a medium one, and a tiny one. She sat in the big chair, but it was too hard. Then, she tried the medium chair, but it was too soft. Finally, she sat in the tiny chair, and it was just right. But as she leaned back, the chair broke into pieces, oh no. Goldilocks gasped, feeling guilty, but her curiosity wasn't satisfied yet. Feeling even sleepier, Goldilocks went upstairs where she found three beds. She tried lying in the big bed, but it was too hard. Then, she tried the medium bed, but it was too soft. Finally, she lay down in the tiny bed, and it was just right. In no time, she fell fast asleep. A while later, the three bears returned from their walk. As soon as they entered the house, Papa Bear noticed something strange. Someone's been eating my porridge, he growled, someone's been eating my porridge too, said Mama Bear, someone's been eating my porridge, and they've eaten it all up, cried Baby Bear, then, the bears noticed their chairs, someone's been sitting in my chair. Papa Bear rumbled, someone's been sitting in my chair too. Mama Bear said, someone's been sitting in my chair, and they've broken it. Baby Bear wailed, the three bears hurried upstairs to check their beds. Someone's been sleeping in my bed. Papa Bear growled, someone's been sleeping in my bed too, Mama Bear said, frowning, someone's been sleeping in my bed, and she's still here. Baby Bear squeaked. Just then, Goldilocks woke up and saw the three bears standing over her. Terrified, she jumped out of bed and ran down the stairs as fast as she could. Help, she cried, running all the way home without looking back. From that day on, Goldilocks learned her lesson about respecting others' belongings. As for the bears, they were more careful about locking their door, and life in the forest continued peacefully. The End